So here's a simple document we have. It's just filled with more MIPS some text just to show what we're doing, not necessarily the content of the information. So, but one of the things I want to do is show you how would we do a works cited page using Word. Now, Microsoft Word has actually made this a lot simpler. Anytime I have a quote, it's really easy to add a reference. So let me show you real quick how we do that. I'm going to come up to my References tab. And let's say I want to insert a reference right after this paragraph. So assuming that this paragraph was uh, either a quote or some idea that I was borrowing from a resource, I want to make sure to give them credit. So I'm going to come up here to Insert Citation, and I'm going to choose Add a New Source. So let's just call this Smith, comma, Joe. My favorite source year was 2017, city, New York, publisher, Acme, publishing. Now I can choose to show other fields if I want. We have these you can add in. The star is the ones that are recommended. And I'm going to click OK. Now when I do that, notice it automatically puts in Smith, the, the last name, and 2017. I can come down here and edit my citation or edit my source if I need to. But this right now is what we refer to as dynamic text. That's really helpful to know because Microsoft Word is going to keep track of all of my citations. So if I come over here and I have another citation I want to include, I'm going to say insert citation. And notice I've got one that I can pick from automatically, but I could also say a new source. And maybe this one was a journal article. I have my information. I click OK. It adds this as well. So this is pretty good as far as that goes. Makes it really, really easy for me to work with. If I come to my bottom, notice I don't see anything. It's just some plain text. I come down here, my bibliography, and I can choose how I want to list it as a bibliography, references, works cited. And when I click on it, notice that it's automatically insert my information. I chose works cited, so there it is. And it automatically fits the style of APA because that's what's listed. If I do Control Z to undo that, I can specify I want something different. Maybe I want MLA. Now I'm going to choose bibliography instead. And that's listed. So it gives me a lot of flexibility with how I insert my stuff. It makes it easy. It's managing all that. I don't have to. I don't have to remember how to write these out. This gives me that information. It's built in there for me. And I can do more than just something like this. I can insert captions if I need to insert captions or insert a table of figures. Or what's really nice, if I've got to create a table of contents based upon where my title headings are. I'm going to come up here, create a blank line because I want to insert a table of contents now. And my table of contents can be used based upon my headers. So if you remember, my headers are going to relate to each item on my outline. And I can build a table of contents based upon what I did. So I'm going to come here, click on the down arrow for table of contents. I got some ready-made ones I can pick from, or I can go and choose more table of contents from office.com. I'm just going to choose automatic table too. It's easy. And it goes in and finds my information. Any information I had as far as headings, headings two, headings three, etc. It's going to start indenting them. It's going to tell me what page they're found on. It even found my bibliography. So I can automatically go in and create some inserted text to make working with a large project much, much easier because it's going to handle all that information for me.